Delicious. This is a plant that I'm very well familiar with because we had to do a lot of hardscaping with large boulders on our farm because we were having some, some major runoff. Yeah. So we did it for, for irrigation. And I'm sure it's beautiful. And the rocks were really pretty, but they were stark. Yes. They were, it just was lacking personality. You need to personality. fill them in with color. So this is how we did it. We did it with a ground cover. And from Roberta's, their six piece, what they call rock crystal hardy ice plants are the best ground cover I've ever seen because they bloom in colors and they bloom all summer long. Absolutely, and then they don't go dormant in the winter. If your temperatures don't get below minus 20 degrees, look at that, that could be uh, gravel, that could be right. sand, that could be, you know, nothing. But add these in and you have just created the most beautiful landscape on your walk walls, anywhere. Look, let me ask you, do you have hot full sun? Many of us do. Do you have poor rocky soil conditions? Many of us yeah. do. Do you have uh, hot summers? Many of us do. This is the perfect plant for you. It's like a ground replacement and it's six pieces, but you get a choice. And this, and this comes back year after year. Absolutely. And we split it up by temperature. Yes. We've got one that's called cool. One by cool, And, and yes. one that's called hot. And one the hot. And, and these can be split and moved and spread out. And they, they cover some beautiful ground. Uh, you can expect this season to have at least this much coverage. Yes, because each one of your six plants is going to spread a foot to a foot and a half. So in the cool colors, you're going to get the uh, red, I'm sorry, the, the purple, the pink, and the white. Beautiful color combinations, purple, pink, and white. It's a six-piece collection. And then if you choose the hot colors, you're going to get the I, orange, I like the, the yellow, bright. and the red. You like them both? Yeah. You know, my family and I says, Court, it's not really a choice of because you need them both. I said, yeah, you okay. know, you're right. You, you pick up both of these sets. We can go through the images again because I'm so excited. I want to inspire you, if you're listening to me, to use ground cover, flower and ground cover that's great for the environment, much better than dead wood chips yep. or what's Mulch. even worse is that shredded rubber stuff. It does nothing for the pollinators. This, I want to encourage you to plant. It helps the pollinators. Look how beautiful, that's the red. And this will fill in, or you just pick up several sets. You'll have no regrets. Just plant the whole area there with that. That's the red. And, and by the way, you normally think beautiful gardens, by golly, don't step on them or anything. No, these are really hardy. Very they'll hardy. Take, they'll take some traffic. They're actually uh, holding their own water in their leaves and you're going to get the yellow. Those are the three colors, the orange, the red, and the yellow in the hot collection. Again, hot full sun, poor rocky soil, beautiful hanging over the slopes. That's the yellow along with the pink. So now we're going to move in to the cool colors. Okay. It's going to include the white, which is gorgeous. Mix them with your other colors. Like I said, it's, it's a choice of, but it shouldn't be. You need to get them both. And then look, the beautiful pink there. This could be grass where you're going out with the hose all the time. Yep. Awful. This is winter hardy, drought tolerant, never say die. The, the plant Purple. originally comes from South, South Africa. Africa. You're right. And, and grows in, quite frankly, the crappiest yes. of soil. Absolutely. Uh, I couldn't say it better myself. It's, it's a way truth. of adding color in areas that you don't normally have color. I know that young lady. That's your That's your my niece. niece. Steph. Hey, Steph. I saw, saw her on today earlier with some Gerber daisies. And I love that you're, you're looking at this because this purple matches so well with so many of our flowering, sun loving plants yep. like the Gerber daisies. So pick, go to QVC.com. We have one of the most beautiful yeah. online category uh, catalogs that you can order from. But type these in if you have poor rocky soil, hot full sun, hot sun, hot, hot summers, and cool winters because these are winter hardy down to minus 20. It's problem solution planning. It really is. Will you squeeze one of those leaves this, and just show thing. them how the, the, these it's leaves, like juicy like that these strawberry. Leaves are like little cucumbers. And when you pop it, they're they're filled with liquid. Can you see? I don't know. I need to get I need to get a paper yeah. towel. But your fingers are so, wet. So they, fingers they become are wet. It's a clear they become liquid. like little uh, little self-contained thermoses yeah. for the plant. So you're not dragging the hose or putting right. the sprinkler like you would do with grass. So where, where I happen to have utilized this first, uh, I don't have a hose that'll get to that area. <laughs> I bet it was just too far away from the barn. Uh, and amazingly, the deer don't eat this, and nope. sheep 
sheep are, are four-legged vacuum cleaners. Okay. And my wife and I raise sheep. The sheep don't eat this. Isn't that great to know? And I've never had anything that I could plant actually in a barnyard that flowered that the sheep didn't just gravitate towards like it was the all-you-could-eat buffet. And it's grown between these wonderful boulders and it just made it softer in appearance and you're gonna much get, friendly you're gonna get six of them and they're friendly not only to humans and the pollinators also yep because you get a ground mulch cover does here. not attract bees butterflies or or uh, hummingbirds say that again mulch Mul <laughs> I, does I, not I attract <laughs> people who love to garden and no offense but yeah. I always thought this was ridiculous we love to garden because we've got a passion for life to see flowers coming out of the ground, to be able to grow strawberries. And then what do we put around all of our beautiful plants? We decorate with death. We decorate with mulch, which is just chipped up wood from a tree. And some I've people got a even lot of respect for trees. Rubber. Yeah, shredded rubber. Oh my rubber. God, yeah. they're, they're never gonna do Down the south, they use pine needles, which at least pine needles fall off the tree. Now but, here's the representation. But this now you're decorating with life and with color and with yeah. brightness. This is a representation of your mulch in your yard, all right? So you're gonna take one of your little plants and you're getting six of them, and I left them over on right. the other table, but anyway, you're gonna just dare, look, you're not removing the mulch, so we're not asking you to no, do No, you plant it mulch. right into the mulch. Right into and the mulch. And it takes over and covers it. It will take and, over, and cover the mulch. It just thrashes One of your six weed. little plants will do this the very first season. I, I hate to put it like this. It's like a, it's like a plant toupee. This thing, <laughs> this covers the top, and nothing can grow through it yes, because less all weeding. these tentacles. There's no weeding to be done mm -hmm. where you planted this. It's gorgeous. And look, even in a container, let's say, well, I really don't have rocky no, areas. You just I really beauty. don't yep. have dry, slopey areas. Well, you want the beauty, you put them in a container. What could be more beautiful than six of these? And again, I want to stress, you're going to like the uh, hot, full sun and okay. low to medium water. Price is $22.16. These come all the way from South Africa. And I had never seen them until, at least from this price from you guys in these varieties. Well, they're <clears> relatively <throat> brand new. Yeah. You know, a gentleman. I saw them last year because of you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, for a lot of people, this is going to be new to them this season. And these are brand new varieties. Again, it's a choice of the cool. You're going to get six of your cool colors, white, purple, and pink or six of your hot colors, orange, red, and yellow. But like I say, look, you can mix them together. Yeah. It's not a choice of, pick, get them both. You'll try have them, a, try them, have fun. Them. I want to inspire you, you know, cut back on your mulch. It's backbreaking, it's stinky, it's hard work, it's expensive, but yeah. you can grow these, fill in all your spaces, a growing guide and gotta grow. Guarantee are included. Thanks for coming out, my friend. Thank you, it's been uh, so much fun. Family. I, had, I love working with you. Uh, they warranty their plant. Mother Nature never gives us a guarantee, but the folks at Roberta's do. I know, most of the time,